evening. Monday evening here, out in the shop, running the dehumidifier on my power supply. Temporarily, I have the wire running. I marked the polarity here. We got it running on my main power supply. I haven't run this dehumidifier since I found out the uh, wall water is no good. I dug the wall water out of my garbage can and um, I put it in a vise and it's the first time in all the years that I bra trying to open these things that I put the vise, put the bottom part in the vise, left the seam exposed here and banged it here with a hammer, bolt, small ball peen hammer and it came right apart. Um, that's a first. I'm going to put you up on a little tripod here so I can have both hands to show you inside. No way I'm going to be able to fix this. It's way too small. But I figured out of curiosity, we'll take a look at the inside of these things. Now there's water in here. I don't know how it got in here because the wall wart, this here, has always been plugged up in here and there's no water up here, you know. So I have no idea how water got inside of it. Not much, but it is wet in there. So let's uh, let's go put you on a tripod so we can get a better look at this. Sorry for the crowded bench here, but as you can see, there's moisture in there. Actually, no, that's uh. That's not water. No, it's not. But there was water on the outside of this. My trash can's clean, dry, I should say. Um, <clears throat> these two caps here... Sorry, I can't find my pointer. Fingers were invented before pointers. All right, see these two caps right here? They look bulged, but that's too small for me to work on. And then there's a main one here, okay? Not much to this. It's hard to believe that this thing is capable of putting out two and a half amps. It really is hard to believe. Well, yeah, it's it seems to be wet. I don't know. Nothing else in the shop is like this, so uh, maybe it's leakage from something. I don't know, but let's get a careful look at the uh, thing here. Maybe you can see something on the video here that I don't see in person. We'll call this just being curious. I only worked on one of these switching power supplies in my life, and that was on my closed circuit TV camera power pack. But that one was twice the size of this. It has a pigtail with eight 12 volt connectors on it because it can power 12 cameras, and these two output capacitors were bad, which I'm sure these are, because they feel like they got a bulge on them, and the tops. Um, <clears throat> so, I was able to replace it, but the board, like I say, was it was much bigger, spaced out a lot better, and that seemed to clear up the problem because I was getting humbars on my cameras. And this was, uh, I don't know, a year, year and a half ago. And I had some electrolytics and I replaced them. Here, 
there is no damn room to work in there. That's way, way too small. That's like working on a pocket transistor radio. It's way too small. The only way I'd ever be able to do that and I don't think I can get them out. I might be able to. I think they go across the output, but I'm not sure. This is the output here, 9 volts output. Uh, however, uh, I cut the wire off because the plug that goes into the back of the dehumidifier was defective also. So the dehumidifier is hardwired with the cord right here that was originally went with the dehumidifier and it's being powered by my power supply right now. So, um, oh yeah, and this is bulged too. Not really all that much to it. I don't know what that is. Right here. Some kind of a transistor or something. Is that upside down? Probably is. I'm looking at a viewfinder of the camera. I really can't tell. And they put this glue in here, right where my fingers pointed. But I don't know what that is either. Looks like maybe a. Oh, uh, that might be the. Um, all right, that's the prong, I think. I'm not sure. I think that's the other end of one of the prongs here. I really can't. This stuff is way too small. So, as I started to say, the only way I'd ever be able to do anything with this, and maybe I would experiment, but it would probably be off camera, is I can't get this out of the case because this ain't going to come out. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, you see, I just learned something. Look at that. It hooks on the contacts over here. Originally, that was glue in here, I guess. Okay, then there's contacts. Wait, where well, I'm pointing with my finger. Right here. Put a line to go in. Okay, so what I could do, I guess... Remove these, find out what the value is, remove them, and whatever the value is, double it, at least. So, I'm not sure, because it's virtually impossible for me to trace out a circuit board. Very difficult. I uh, usually get them wrong, mainly because they're so damn small, but... Um, I was to remove these two, doing one at a time, though, to make sure I get them right, and mount them to the outside of the case. After all, it's only in the shop anyways. But it's still going to make a lot of noise. Now, as I said in the other video, I've got to be on camera here. I'm looking at the work and not through the camera right at the moment. So... going to be in the shop. It isn't going to matter. Looks like a some kind of an inductor over here. I'm looking through my reading glasses and man, that's tiny. That is so damn small. Yeah, I got some kind of a some kind of chip down here. This stuff is <clears throat> I don't care what anybody says, this stuff is not meant to be fixed. However, if it was very large and spaced out more, yes, I think uh, somebody qualified with good eyes could fix it. 
So I would have to replace these two, and I don't even know if I have them, and I would double the capacity and make sure the voltage is as high or higher than these, and the same with this one. So I do have some small electrolytics, and I could do that. Question is, is it worth it? I don't know. But I thought I'd throw this video out to you for entertainment purposes. And that's what this video is going to be under the category of entertainment. Yeah. But that's where your line, where my thumb is pointing right here, that's your line voltage. So that's, I like the way that's made in here with just pushing it in and hits these contacts. Obviously, it was glued, but it all dried up, and it was originally held in with glue. So what I thought was water in here is just clear glue. And there appears to be, there appears to be water in here. Because the outside had some water here on the seam on both sides. And it was on my hand. So I'm not imagining that. And if you look here, it looks a little shiny and wet. I run my fingernail through there. And I think that is water. So a lot of times, these things are glued all the way around. And... You bust the case trying to get it apart, but this came apart easy. I just pulled it out of the trash and said, what the heck, I'll stick it in the, on the vise and, and see what it does. Okay, so I don't think it's worth it, but I'm going to get a little better magnification, see if I can read the value of these, but I'm not going to probably be able to. I don't know if it's upside down or not. I uh, know I've got the magnifier on the camera. It's 105 degrees C, and that's what you want to use. But they are bulged. You can see the tops of them there. And that's a little toroid. Okay. Okay, I see it. Not sure. I don't, I'm not familiar with these things and how they work. But I would put these capacitors on the outside. That way I can get a larger one. I think if I increase the capacity, if I have them, I don't know what the capacity is on these because I cannot read them. They have to be removed. They're probably both the same. I know on my surveillance camera, my security camera, the electrolytics were a little bigger than this, but they were both the same value, and they were connected in parallel with the output cable. On that power supply, it was 12 volts. This is 9. So, um, that could be a voltage regulator. But again, I don't work on this stuff, so... Yeah. Let's see what that is. That's your transformer. Got two capacitors right there. And got some glue right between the uh, transformer and the electrolytics, but it should pop out there okay. I don't know. You're experts on this stuff here. What do you think? I'd get rid of... I know that these are bad. Okay. So at the very least, if I replace this and this, I'm almost certain that it'll work. But I hate that. That's going to be hard to get that out with that glue there. Over here where I'm pointing. That's going to be very hard to get that out. But if I replace all three of these electrolytics, there's a possibility that this thing will work again, and I won't have to use my big power supply. 
That's probably why it was making much more noise on the AM radio and wiped out my local station, which it never did before. It only wipes out the distant stations when I'm working on the radio on the bench or even when I'm trying to listen to the 75 and 80 meter bands, which are AM, of course. Um, but lately the bands are dead anyways. So the question is, if I increase these to double the capacity, and I don't know if I can increase this because this is probably as big as I can get in there, but if I increase these by using capacitors on the outside, I just bring the leads, a small pigtail out here and come out the cabinet and put the capacitors on the back maybe, hot glue them on there, and double or triple the capacity, maybe it'll get rid of that RFI. I don't think it'll hurt it. What do you guys think, huh? Enough. Figured I'd make a video and show you this. All right, I just put my magnifier to it. It's hard to see. Maybe you guys can see it. Looks like a thousand microfarad is 16 volts. It's got a flashlight on it. Can't get any closer because the shadow from the camera will block the light. Is that a thousand microfarads? Well, if it is, I don't have anything bigger than that. Not a not a pair. I might come up with one. If it's a hundred microfarads, not a problem. I can go to two hundred and twenty microfarads. I do have that. Three hundred and thirty, four hundred and seventy, stuff like that. But if that's a thousand, I I may not even have a thousand. All right. What do you guys think? Coming from the Blind Tinkerer's Workshop.